<laughs> Phillip's heading out to check the pawpaws. All right, so we're out here at the pawpaw patch. Let's see what we got. Let's see one little one right there. Now I don't know who's new to the channel. But last year we got several five gallon buckets full of pawpaws. Now pawpaws, it takes about five to seven years for them to actually produce fruit. So this in here is about a year. We got a few more little ones down over here. And the fruit is just now, the fruit's just now starting to really come on. You can see it right here. We got a few scattered out. So something else you need to know about pawpaws. You see how low these trees are? Anything else, any other kind of little tree. Like for instance, this one. See this little tree here didn't make it. I mean, it's still te technically alive, but there is no greenery on it. And even up here, these trees and the brush, anywhere these sheep and goat can get, they're going to eat it down. However, if you look at this, they might rub on it and hit it with their head and everything, but they're not going to eat it. So if you're looking for a good shade shade tree for your livestock without it getting destroyed although if you get them little like that they like to headbutt them and play with them so keep that in mind might get something a little bigger but they don't they don't eat them all right so there's a couple ways to tell if the pawpaw's ready for one they should start kind of turning like this and the other way, <clears throat> uh, so I don't know if you can see that one, but there's some up there in that tree. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna shake it. If they fall, they're ready. Need a bucket. So pawpaws, <clears throat> this is how you normally see them. They come in clusters like this. Now the animals, they will eat the pawpaws. Just FYI. Deer love them. Just possums, coons, whatever. About every wild critter likes them so. You like hunting and all that. <clears throat> it's a good point to have around. Dang, I think I heard a thud. But... Sucks being collarbone. And my wife won't get in here because of that ram. I do see one or two up there. Man, I can't shake this big one. Got several up there. Oh, we're definitely gonna have to come back. The problem is, I didn't realize it was quite ready. And with the amount we had last year, 
I'd say some critters already been in here eating a bunch of it, and some of them probably fell on the ground, and the sheep ate them and goats. And... So we ain't gonna get near as much as we had last year. Thank you for watching Chamberlain Family Farms. You can contact us at chamberlainff at gmail.com. You can also see us on Facebook, Chamberlain Family Farms. We hope you enjoy. Please like and subscribe.